Guys, I need to walk you through one of the biggest challenges that I think Bitcoin is going to be facing. I think that we're looking at a situation right here where even if Bitcoin manages to get a rise up, it's going to be establishing a lot of, it's going to be meeting a lot of resistance. And I think that might really stop Bitcoin from pulling something very bullish off. So I want to break this down for you because as you guys know, when we enter downtrends, we're going to have resistance up ahead. And I haven't been talking about this enough. I've usually just been talking about the possibilities of Bitcoin dropping down, which I still think potentially looks a little bit more likely than the upside. But the, pr the primary issue here, ladies and gents, is that because Bitcoin is in this downtrend and because it's lost so many critical support levels, like, you know, 64,000 way up here, which is when I started becoming bullish. Shout out to those of you who are already hitting the like and subscribe button watching all these videos back then. We lost that area of support. And the challenge is obviously it must turn into resistance in response to that. Then we lost the 60K area of support and so on. And each of these levels turn into levels of resistance. But we also have to consider that we've had some really strong support from this EMA ribbon on the one day time frame, right? Not only that, but even this blue line right here, this is the 200 day exponential moving average ribbon, a very uh, exponential moving average line. And it's a very important level, in my opinion, because it takes a lot of historic data together. And you can see really nicely how when we kind of came down to this level, we got a really nice bounce up from that $40,000 area. Again, over here, when we were rallying up and Bitcoin managed to rally from, you know, about $28,000 way down. Let me just show you this. This is when Bitcoin bottomed out. It was able to rally from about $28,000 here all the way up to 42 only to bounce off this very same line, trigger a big rally. That rally, by the way, went from $39,000 all the way up to 53. That is a $15,000 pump. From there, we ended up falling back down, found support at 42 at the very same line, and we managed to rise up to 68, as we know very well. So that was an absolutely beautiful uh, rib, uh, line that we could have used for support. But look at where it is right now, potentially just rejecting Bitcoin at the moment. And this is not something that would act on the market quickly. You see, I mean, because it's a long term line, you can see that the market can interact with it for quite a long time and it can take a long time to respond. Right. I mean, this can stick, stay here offering pressure for, I mean, you know, days, maybe even a week or two, which is kind of where we're at at the moment before it ends up really acting on the market and sending us lower. And that can be very, very problematic. Now, even ahead of that, like I said, we've got the uh, exponential moving average ribbon. This has provided Bitcoin with some really nice bounces. You can see over here, kind of anytime we hit this ribbon, we were bouncing up when we were in the bullish trend. Again, as resistance, with all of these moving averages having crossed bearish, showing us that momentum is just not on the bull's side. That can be very problematic as Bitcoin starts to target those mid $50,000 levels again. And then, of course, if we just rise a little bit higher than that, we have more resistance yet to come. So here's the thing, right? I think that, you know, obviously, I don't think that we're entering a big bear market. This is the first time, I want to make this very clear now. This is the first time in a while that I'm hearing people seriously consider the idea that Bitcoin is on a long-term bear market right now. And obviously that idea alone is premature, but that is a very, very good sign. Because if people are starting to talk about bear market, that means they're starting to lose faith in this current state of the market. And if they're losing faith, well, that means people are finally starting to swap away their bullish bias for a slightly more bearish one. And obviously that's exactly what we need. And if we take a look at a slightly more clean chart, and if I just remove all of these indicators, you'll really start to appreciate now that broadly speaking, Bitcoin still isn't in an absolutely terrible position. It's trading at $47,000 at the time of me recording this video, which really isn't that low, right? I mean, we're just having another big correction right here, which I want you guys to keep in mind. Uh, but obviously, the, the main pressure is going to come for Bitcoin. If it does manage to rise back up, well, then it's going to encounter the very same areas of support that helped it. And this time, it's going to potentially be a little bit damaging. And that is what I find concerning, right? I think that the rise back up is going to be a real, real challenge for Bitcoin, just with the horizontal levels, with the uh, moving averages, with the Ichimoku clouds, and so on. Uh, already proving to be a little bit of a challenge for Bitcoin. And this is what I want you to look out for, because if we start to see a little bit of a flip, right, and Bitcoin starting to, you know, break the short term resistance levels, it breaks the one hour resistance, breaks the four hour resistance and so on, which I think is very likely at the moment, because 
well even though i'm looking at more downside action look it's pretty clear that bitcoin right now is in a fairly bullish kind of descending channel um which you know i think it could kind of just you know blast out of typically it is a bullish pattern because it indicates that at first we were moving down quickly now we're moving down a lot slower kind of indicates a loss of momentum to the downside so perhaps we will reverse even if we get something like that you know like i said there's still going to be that resistance up ahead but if we start to see sentiment flipping very quickly and people starting to f say things like bitcoin's back on track or back on the bull market 60k incoming 70k incoming astronaut costume coming out and so on if we start to see that kind of sentiment well then to me that's going to be the warning shot fired again to quote crypto kirby because people are going to be flipping their sentiment very quickly now if on the other hand people don't really believe in it and people are generally being very pessimistic and saying oh this is a sucker's rally and you know i don't believe it and it's staying bearish and it's going to be bearish for a long time well that's going to tell me something else about sentiment that's going to tell me that actually people have really lost faith in the markets and again that's generally what happens at these kind of market bottoms i want you guys to keep this stuff in mind right bitcoin broadly speaking when we really zoom out still in my opinion not in a terrible place it's at forty-seven thousand dollars, for god's sakes if i told you that this was going to happen just this time last year you'd be pretty happy with it and so i want us to keep that in mind just really being able to zoom out and analyzing the sentiment in this space if you're able to do that you're going to be in a good place look i gotta wrap this video up now very short one i might make another one in just a few hours but if you enjoyed this one you know what to do hit up the likes subscribe tick the bell and i'll see you all in the next one bye, -bye.